another new microphone but this one's got rgb yes yes what's good people tech jamo so we're out here with another microphone this one's from fifth fine big 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 shout out to fifth fine for hooking me up with one of their newest microphones for a little unboxing impressions and hopefully a review further down the line let's see if this microphone has what it takes to take on my elgato wave 3 which is my current all day every day microphone for bare pieces of content and streaming that i create for this channel is this a bad boy microphone or is it just an any microphone with rgb let's unbox it and find out so um yeah let's let's pop it open and see what's good all right so we've got the little young user guide and thing like that young little piece of instructions obviously bad man don't read these this looks groovy fam this is some kind of shock mount yeah that shock mount is wavy looks like it's got the normal connector thing there might be able to connect it to my elgato low profile microphone mount might be able to do it but we'll see anyway got a young usb cable looks like usb 2.0 and it's got usb c at the other end so you know at least we're in the future got a nice bit of brand in there you got a cute little bog standard microphone stand like a desktop one um it's actually quite heavy it's a bit more premium than the usual standard things that you get inside a microphone set but at least you've got something to get started with if you don't have a boom arm and you've got the microphone itself with the branded on the side that looks like the volume switch or the volume slider got a mute button there must be capacitive because it's not going down or coming up no travel to it essentially another little logo on the back here this looks like the rgb strip and then you've got the usb c on the bottom as well as the monitoring 3.5 millimeter jack and can this can this come off this can't come off Oh, so we're stuck with that on the device itself. But yeah, looks pretty decent so far, so good. Looks like you've got a little microphone adapter here just for the boom arm in case it doesn't connect straight away. So that's always good to see. And I'm not sure what this is. It looks like some kind of screwing mechanism. It must be to mount the microphone to whatever you're mounting it to. I'm assuming anyway. All right, and now that we've got it plugged in, you've got that little RGB light reflecting off the bottom of the shock mount, and you can also see it under here. It looks quite cool, it looks quite cool. One thing that would be really cool is if you could, like, I don't know, maybe choose different colours specifically, or maybe make it all red or all green, or, for example, I've got my Elgato strip lights at bluish purple at the moment, so if I could just set this to bluish purple so that it would match, that would be cool as well but right now it's cycling through uh can you guys see that well enough do i need to hey there we go you can see it a little bit better now hopefully or if you can't then i'll just put some b-roll in so you can see that little piece of reflection off the bottom of the shock mount right now let's get this connected to obs and see what's really good so right now you're listening to my voice on the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. This is the standard microphone that I always use. However, if I mute it and I unmute this, now you're listening to my voice on the Fifine microphone. Whoa, 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 guys. I'm not going to lie. I messed up. I messed up. Now, I thought that with this button here, it was facing me. However, according to the instructions, this is the front of the microphone this top part right here <laughs> this part is the front not this part this is just the top so i'm going to try this test again and actually speak into the front of the microphone to see if it makes any difference just like that just like that the whole review changed from <laughs> honestly guys i was about to tell you guys that the elgato way free is still knocking this thing out of the water, which it is for software. But in terms of just the raw hardware of the microphones themselves, this Fifine is no slouch, yeah? The quality is good. I think, let me try and find some passages or something and read it out on both of them turn by turn so that you guys can see the voice quality between both of them. And like I said, I've still got them both at 50%. All right, so starting off with the Elgato. 
plug and play with PC, laptop, Mac and PS4. Delivers warm and smooth sound without extra noise. Now for the fifth iron. Plug and play with PC, laptop, Mac and PS4. Delivers warm and smooth sound without extra noise. El Gato. Tap to mute sensor with LED indicator. Easily adjust the mic gain by turning the dial on the mic. In the fifth line, tap to mute sensor with LED indicator. Easily adjust the mic gain by turning the dial on the mic. Elgato again. 3.5mm headphone jack for real time monitoring. The RGB lighting creates unique atmosphere for streaming. And the fifth line, 3.5mm headphone jack for real time monitoring. The RGB lighting creates unique atmosphere for streaming. Boy, I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been listening to both of these and I'm gonna just start with the looks and the design of the Fifine K658. Now, the look, it's a big beefy boy if I'm looking at it, it's a massive microphone. It's got a little stand that comes with it, it comes with its own shock mount. You don't have to buy that separately like you do with other brands such as Elgato. Literally comes with it all together in one package and it has RGB fam. Now, you can't customize the RGB lights that are showing, but at night time, it's gonna fit right into your gaming and streaming setup. The sound quality now of this Fifine microphone, when it is facing the correct direction, wow, it's loud. It's a very sensitive microphone. It's even more so sensitive than the Elgato, I believe. Now, high sensitivity doesn't mean that it's a better microphone. I'm just telling you guys that, so if you guys get this, you may have to turn down the gain more than you would normally on another microphone. The strange thing is, I've actually got no pricing from Fifine for this microphone. I believe one of the links they sent me said $110, which would put it underneath the Wave 3 in terms of pricing, but that's something that we'd need to see. And like I said, unlike the Wave 3, it doesn't come with any super Wavelink audio software that controls all the audio on your computer. It's literally just a plug and play device, which funny enough can be used in the Elgato Wavelink software. This is a bad boy microphone. This is a bad, it's, not, it's nothing to be laughed at. It's a bad boy microphone. It does jobs, but not all the jobs.